10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Football in Zambia will forever be split on either side of a watershed moment. What happened before the 27th of April 1993 and everything that has happened since. On that ill-fated day, a Zambian Air Force Buffalo registered as flight AF319 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean 500 meters off the coast of Gabon. What was meant to be a routine flight to Senegal where the national team was set to play a World Cup qualifier against the host nation turned football in the nation on its head and sent a nation into mourning. Father, I thank you! I thank you, God! A total of 30 people were killed, comprising five crew members, 18 national team players, four members of the coaching staff, and the then chairman of the local football association, a public servant and a traveling journalist. The core of a nation's footballing dreams and hopes were all killed in one tragic event. On the day on which, uh, uh, on which uh, our team was, uh, were perished, of the coast of Gabon, I was actually in prison. I had been arrested with a group of other 23, who were 24 of us, who were political leaders of a political party called UNIP, the Kaunda's party. And um, they, when the MMD first came to power, they felt that uh, there was something happening there, so we were detained. And later on, the late president, this is a good tribute to him, found out that it was not true, and he released us. I was in the first group that was released. So the day I went into prison that night, I went to Masia Motel to visit our team. I've always done this religiously. And I found that they're just coming back from training from the Independence Stadium. So I sent the waiter to bring three cases of Fanta and Coca-Cola. We all sat together and we drank it and I told them, look, I'm not coming with you, good luck where you're going and so and so. And uh, we all shook hands and then I went home to sleep and in the morning at 4, 5 a.m. I was picked up. And went to court to answer the first charges, only to be told that our team perished. <laughs> There are 8 million people in Zambia. Like many Central African countries, life is hard and the economy is in turmoil. But Zambians have one thread that binds all their different tribes together. We wrap up little boys, tennis boys. Uh, it has no tribe on it. It's a you know, small ball and it bounces all over and that brings us uh, together. You could say that Zambia was born a sporting nation. They gained their independence from Britain in 1964 in the middle of the Tokyo Olympics. Their first president, Kenneth Kaunda, is a great sports fan and used to promote soccer above all. Indeed, the national soccer team used to be named the KK11 in his honor. I simply love the game myself. The people love the game. When we are together uh, at this independent stadium, as we call it, um, the unity of the nation 
is very, you can feel it. So it's really, it's, um, it's in the blood of almost every, every Zambian. With such support, Zambia swiftly established themselves as one of the best teams on the continent. In 1973, they reached the final group of three in the African qualifiers. But defeat at home to Zaire put pay to their chances of reaching their first finals. By the late 1980s, Zambian soccer was once again among the best. And at the Olympics in Seoul, they achieved one of Africa's most remarkable results. In a group match against a near full-strength Italy, Zambia won 4-0. Three goals were scored by Kalusha Bwalya and the other by his unrelated namesake, Johnston. Over the next four years, Kalusha and Johnston were joined by more exceptional players. Goalkeeper Efa Chabala, midfielder Esten Mulenga, goal scorers Timothy Umwitwa, Kelvin Mutale and Darby Makinka. At the start of the World Cup qualifiers, hopes were high that for the first time ever, Zambia would go to the finals. Which is why April the 28th, 1993, was the darkest day in the nation's history. I knew all those boys by name, first name. Uh, we had worked together for a long, long time. And uh, it was just indescribable. I uh, couldn't believe it at all. It was one of the saddest uh, days of you know my life. It was uh, we lost uh, all we had. After I heard the, the news, on the, uh, I think it was half past eleven and um, 12 o'clock, from 12 to 6, the phone never stopped ringing, you know, and um, I didn't even have time to, you know, to, to think and cry and, and everything. But uh, I think about the boys all the time. On the northern side of Lusaka's independent stadium lie the graves of all 29 victims of the air crash off the coast of Gabon. 18 players died. No country has ever had to deal with a bigger blow to its national game. Yet to the Zambians, there was no option but to continue. Their death would be meaningless if we give up. We don't give up in Zambia. They themselves, if it were possible to say, boys, how is it? They'll say, go. We have to go. We'll go on. I'm standing at the Libreville beach where 19 years ago, a plane carrying Zambian players and crew went down offshore. After qualifying for the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations, the Zambian team led by their president Kalusha Bwala, technical committee and players came down here to lay flowers in paying tribute to their fallen heroes. You know, I remember, you know, being in um, the PSV Eindhoven uh, on, uh, on a Tuesday and then I said that I was going to leave. I was going to leave the soul Wednesday, it was a free day, and uh, the next day on Thursday, because it happened on a Wednesday, on a free day, 
around 10 o'clock in the morning uh, when I got those phone calls to say that we, we have had a, a, a plane crash of the Zambia national team traveling to a World Cup qualifier uh, and there were no survivors. And then the following day when I went on, on, on Thursday, I remember the coach saying that uh, I shouldn't look in the newspapers and everything because they had, you know, they had taken all the bodies and uh, all the uh, here on, on this area. So, you know, that, those memories came back to me on, uh, when, when I came here. Um, but uh, I'm happy to come here uh, with, with the team, with, with the national team. I had said to myself that, and I said to the boys that uh, some of us will be more emotional than the others. Uh, but a lot of the Zambian people are emotional about their team. They're emotional about the team because of what it did on the pitch. Uh, because they were very, very talented, uh, very, very ambitious, a team that had been together for a long time. Uh, a little bit the case that is what is happening here. You know, a team we have had it for four, five, five years. Uh, and so um, I feel a connection for, for me to stand here. I feel proud uh, to bring, uh, you know, the national team and, of course, what the minister has said. Uh, they were gallant, gallant men who fought uh, in the same, the, same, the same thing that keeps us busy every day you know, that we can't sleep. This football, you know, we had other people who were dedicated as much as we were. But today they were not here and, you know, God has given us a few more days to, to see in this life. Nineteen years ago, the reconstructed team went to the final against Nigeria. Nineteen years later, this present generation is in the final. What is the significance of the two events? <laughs> He split the defence again. It's time for Zambia. Senegal are rocking in batter. Of course, of the conditions as uh, Kaleva plays a lovely ball. What a finish! Zambia level. Lovely overhead to the far post! Oh, what a strike! Christopher Katongo making it 2-2. Two, two, thanks to some sensational play on the left-hand side. All the shot coming in and Zambia have silenced the stadium here in Malabo. Christopher Katongo with a goal out of nothing really. Was cross and Zambia have opened the scoring. The offside flag has stayed down. Stopping at Sunzu arriving at the near post. Oh, Akram says Katondo on the follow up. Kept his cool.
Jota. Possibility again, Chamanga goes for the car, the 3 0. Zambia are through to the semi finals 16 years after their last semi final appearance. Have a red outside march on. And it's going to be Asamoah Chan with the penalty. He steps up, saved by Mwene! puts Chipolo Polo in front in batter. It's a goal out of nothing really. He does the backflips to celebrate. The team go down to the corner flag to join in. Here's the final whistle, Serbia celebrate, Ghana are devastated, a goal from Emmanuel Mayuka takes Chipolo Polo through to the final of the Africa Cup of Nations against either Ivory Coast or Mali for an emotional return to Gabon where their national team perished in 1993. But more importantly, it's the spirit of saying we can do it, damn the consequences, or no matter with who. There is no such a thing as Ivory Coast in our vocabulary. There's no such a thing as global, whatever they have, all the players they have in the Ivory Coast team. We will treat them as if there is no difference between them and us. Actually, in real terms, we are better. We will see. They are going to throw in everything. We know what Ivory Coast are capable of doing. We know the names. But I've told you that in this world, there is no such a thing as dwelling on history and the past. Zambia has an agenda. When you consider the fact that our boys died in 1993 off the shores of Gabon, when you consider the fact that they came in black bags as dead people and we buried them with dignity and honor, and now our boys are playing in Gabon, they will be looking at the sea where their brothers died. They will say, never again. We are not going back to Zambia without the trophy. We are not going back to Zambia like our brothers who perished there in the sea without honor and victory. We are going to revenge. Wait and see you on Sunday. It's going to be total war. There will be no surrender.
a decisive strike which gives Zambia's Chipolo Polo their first ever Nations Cup title in the country where their national team died in an air crash in 1993. The force of history has been with them throughout this tournament they have felt and now that has been vindicated in a penalty shootout of high drama after a final of great entertainment, magnificent tension. So full of passion, our hearts are tattooed champions Ever have a victory whenever we be battling Heart of a warrior, that's why we always going hard No one can be stopping us, cause we are more than conquerors Heart of a warrior, that's why we always going hard No one can be stopping us, cause we are more than conquerors Shala oi toi, you an action figure, sorry. You sitting on a dream, as for me though, I'm sitting on a number, ya mene i gonka zero. You plot your war, but I'm a angler, skill ain't no fuck a stamina, you gon' receive no lamia. This anime with so time is up, this is the game for champions, you go by the name Zambia. We gonna wash you out clean, mong that sop for your sambila. 